Welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Today I will be leveling Weaver from level 16 to 35. Before we begin, we must first buy the following materials from the material vendor in the free company estate. 13. Undyed cotton cloth. 6. Cotton yarn. 3. Cotton bowl. 1. Brass ingot. 7. Beast sinew. And 3. Leather. After that, we need to purchase 12. Undyed velveteen. nine dew thread and six aldo goat leather from the market board and we will be using these to craft the items needed for the lev quest in this video i'll show you the gear i use for level 16 to 20. feel free to pause over each slot if you want to copy my loadout please keep in mind this gear has been overtuned specifically to give you various options it's highly recommended to meld every basic open slot with cp after that it's up to the player's prerogative if they would like to over meld beyond that but it is definitely not required also note that when leveling i personally do not over meld my weapons since weapons cannot be used outside of their respective classes whereas the armor my weaver can use can later be used by future or other crafting professions. Please note for this section of the video, 310 CP is needed after foods and buffs in order to use the rotations that I will be using. Now with gear out of the way, let's head to the left met and grab Don't True So Hard and read the fine print. From here I'm going to eat crafting food that increases my control and maximum CP as well as drink a potion that increases my maximum CP. Please keep in mind that I'm showing this to give you options on how to increase your stats without needing to overbuild your gear. I'm going to start off this rotation by using Inner Quiet. What this does is it's going to give me a buff that stacks up to a maximum of 11. Every time I use an ability that increases quality, it will give me a, a stack. What these stacks do is as it goes higher, it increases the amount of quality I receive whenever I use a quality increasing action. After I do that, I'm going to use an ability called Waste Knot. This is going to help me with my durability. What this does is going to reduce my durability cost of my actions by 50% for the next 4 turns. This is going to be really helpful because it's going to make my abilities only use 5 durability instead of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and use that now. And then I'm going to use basic touch 4 times. And as you're going to notice, every time I use basic touch my quality is going to increase and I'm going to get a stack of inner quiet and then if you look at my efficiency calculations you're going to notice that my quality increase is going to raise every time so as you can see it's raising as my inner quiet stacks are going up now after all that's done I'm going to reapply waste knot and then I'm going to activate basic touch four more times in order to use up those waste knot stacks. And as you can see, my quality bar is actually going up pretty fast at this point. All right, so now we have 30 more durability and we have no more waste knot stacks. So I'm going to use one more basic touch. And that'll leave me with 20 durability afterwards. And I'm going to use those final durabilities to finish off the progress. Alright, so now the quality's done. I'm going to activate veneration. And for the next four steps, it's going to increase my synthesis actions. 
which uh, are going to affect my progress. From there, I'm going to be using basic synthesis. And as you can see here, it's going to give me 42 each time. So after I use it twice, I would get 84, but I only need 74. And there we go. I created a high quality initiate slops. Now I'm going to repeat this rotation while I make my cotton shepherd's tunic. So once again, inner quiet, followed by waist knot, and then four basic touch. Then reapply waist knot. And then four more basic touches. Followed by a final basic touch. Veneration to finish it off with two basic syntheses afterwards. All right, there we go. Please note this video is created in patch 5.2 and if you're watching this at a later date, the rotation might have changed. So here we are at Rorich and we're gonna be turning in our HQ initiate slops as well as our HQ Cotton Shepherd's tunic. And since we're turning in HQ items, we're gonna get double EXP. So these two Lev quests should get us to level 20. Now that we are level 20, I will once again show the gear that I use. Keep in mind that we will be using the same rotation that we use at level 16. So 310 CP is still the target you want to reach after all buffs have been applied. Now that we are back at the lev mat, we're going to accept both don't sash me and hitting below the belt. Now it's very important to take note that the reason I am grabbing both quests is to show the difference between a triple turn in and single turn ins. With that in mind, even though don't sash me yields greater experience than hitting below the belt, as we complete the quest you will see that hitting below the belt will yield a lot more upon full completion because you will receive the reward three times in a row.
Now let's head to Rorich, and we're first going to turn in Don't Sash Me. And you're going to notice that this is a single turn in like the ones we did previously. And now we're going to turn in Hitting Below the Belt. So you're going to see here that we're going to turn one in. We're going to hit the complete button and it's going to say submit additional items. What that means is we can do this two more times, so a total of three times. So I'm going to go ahead and craft the remaining two items needed and then we're going to turn it in. This makes doing triple turn ins really efficient on the levs, especially when you're turning HQ items in. So remember, every time you turn in an HQ item, you get times two the reward. And then if you turn in three of those, you're going to get times three of that. So it's actually quite a large amount of EXP. Going forward, after we turn this in, we will only be accepting triple turnings from here on out. Now that we are level 26, we have access to new abilities, and because of these abilities, our new target goal is 328 CP after all buffs have been applied. So here at the Levmet, we're going to be grabbing the Lev quest known as He's Got Legs, which is going to require us to make three Velveteen Sorrow Rails and deliver them to Rorich. So we're gonna go ahead and craft them now and we're gonna be using our new updated rotation. So we're gonna start off with Inner Quiet, then we're gonna use Innovation and then Waste Knot, followed by four Basic Touch, Then we're going to use Innovation one more time. And then after that, we're going to follow it up with Waste Knot. And then another four Basic Touch. And then after that, we're going to activate Veneration. And then two Basic Synthesis. And that should make a high-quality Velveteen Sour Oil. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat this two more times to make two more of them.
So now we're gonna head to Rorich and we're gonna deliver our Lev quest. But as you're gonna see, we're gonna be a little bit shy from leveling up to 30. But that's okay, because we're gonna go back and accept this Lev quest as well as the level 30 Lev quest after we level up. And we're gonna turn both of these in and we should hit level 35 after all is said and done. So here we are back to Lev Mint, but before we accept our quest, we're going to go ahead and make three more Velveteen Sour Whales because we know we're going to be grabbing that Lev quest. And we're going to go ahead and use the same rotation that we used earlier. Now that we're level 30, I'm going to show you the gear that I used for this tier. But if you already upgraded your gear at level 25, you do not need to upgrade in this tier because the next tier that we're going to be crafting in is going to have a huge jump in stats. But I wanted to include this gear regardless just in case anyone wanted to copy my gear set. Using the same rotation that we used in the previous craft, we're going to be making three high quality velveteen work gloves. Now that we have three high quality Velveteen work gloves as well as three high quality Velveteen sour oil, it's time to head to Rorich and turn these Lev quests in. After doing so, we should hit level 35. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.